Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and today for you guys, I've got a Kingdom Hearts 3 discussion video. Today, I'm going to be looking at a small detail that was shown in the brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 footage during the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 jump fest the trailer now this is something that i did briefly go over and uh, i did kind of talk about in my kingdom hearts 3 jump fest the trailer analysis but i do want to kind of talk about it more and go into greater detail because from this small little detail talking about the experience kind of gain uh that we've seen in the most recent trailer it leads me to believe that tech points might actually be returning in kingdom hearts 3. Now, what exactly are tech points? Well, tech points were something that were kind of in Kingdom Hearts 1. Tech points acted as kind of experience points. But the thing that differentiates tech points to the rest of the XP gains of all of the other Kingdom Hearts games is that there were multiple different ways of actually gaining tech points. Now, obviously, the first way to get tech points is just by normally killing a Heartless or an enemy. Once you kill a Heartless or an enemy, the amount of kind of tech points will appear once that enemy has been defeated. Similar to that of like how any enemy is defeated in any of the Kingdom Hearts games, shortly after they're defeated, like a number will kind of appear on screen and that'll display how much experience you gain. One thing to note about the experience gains in Kingdom Hearts 1 is that they're significantly smaller amounts of XP in comparison to all of the XP gains in the rest of the Kingdom Hearts games. Due to the fact that we've actually seen a small amount of XP gain in the most recent Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, it's leading a lot of people to believe that tech points might actually be returning in Kingdom Hearts 3. Now the other way that you would gain tech points in Kingdom Hearts 1 was to do all sorts of things like counter attacks, dodges, parries, attacking certain special um, areas of a certain boss. Um, for example right here you guys can see that when I'm attacking the Rock Titan's foot in Kingdom Hearts 1, I would gain one tech point per hit. So basically tech points were gained when you sort of exploit a certain enemy or more specifically a certain boss in Kingdom Hearts 1. And a lot of people actually like this system. I have to admit that I do as well, especially the fact that Square Enix also added in an ability in Kingdom Hearts 1, which was Tech Boost. And I believe you could get up to four of them, which would times for the amount of tech points you would get when, of course, you exploit a boss's move, do a parry, a counter attack, a dodge, or a guard, um, and all things like that. It would basically increase the amount of tech points you can get from doing those specific different moves. Now, the whole tech point system was actually removed after Kingdom Hearts 1. Tech points haven't actually returned since Kingdom Hearts 1, and there's a ton of different aspects of Kingdom Hearts 1 that a lot of people have been asking and begging for to return in future Kingdom Hearts titles. And I feel as if Square Enix might actually be going down to their roots in terms of reintroducing a lot of the different aspects that Kingdom Hearts 1 had into Kingdom Hearts 3, as a lot of people really, really enjoyed the different aspects of number 1. And especially one aspect that I liked from Kingdom Hearts 1 was the interactive environments. You know, environments kind of felt more alive. There was a lot of different things to do in environments, like switches, um, little hidden mechanics and stuff, lots of different things to interact with. And then comes Kingdom Hearts 2 and the environments are just kind of like little playgrounds where you would run through and a bunch of Heartless would spawn and you'd kill them. Like there was literally not much to do in these environments in Kingdom Hearts 2 in comparison to Kingdom Hearts 1. And I feel as if, you know, Square Enix might be going back to their roots in terms of reintroducing a lot of different aspects from Kingdom Hearts 1 back into Kingdom Hearts 3, which I do like. But I do like the uh, the tech point system because of the fact that it actually allows you to gain XP in a lot of different ways, not just from, you know, killing enemies, but if you actually exploit their attacks and do dodges and whatnot, you can actually end up getting a lot more XP than just actually killing them. You know, it all adds up in the end. And of course, you guys will notice that a perfect way to level up at the start of Kingdom Hearts 1 is to actually deflect walk his, uh, you know, his blitz ball attack, um, you deflect it back to him and you'll get like one uh, tech point per deflect, uh, which is kind of like a system that a lot of people use to level up very, very fast and get ahead of their levels at the start of Kingdom Hearts 1. And those little things are kind of cool to uh, sort of, I suppose you could say exploit or slash kind of use to get ahead of your levels. And that's one thing that I really enjoy about the tech point system. So um, it looks like tech points might actually be returning, but who really knows we'll have to just kind of wait and see this is the first time that we've actually ever seen XP kind of appear during gameplay of any of the Kingdom Hearts game 
gameplay that we've received from Kingdom Hearts 3, so it'll be interesting to see whether or not Tetsuya Nomura actually touches upon tech points returning or not. But either way guys, what do you think about tech points and do you want them to return in Kingdom Hearts 3? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.